Blender 3.5 is the latest version of the popular open-source 3D creation software. This new version comes with several exciting features and improvements, making it an even more powerful tool for 3D modeling, animation, and rendering. In this video, we will explore the five key features in Blender 3.5 that are sure to enhance your workflow and help you create stunning 3D content. From the new AI-powered denoiser to the improved physics simulation engine, each feature offers unique benefits that will make your 3D creation process faster, easier, and more efficient. So, let's dive in and discover what Blender 3.5 has in store for us. Vector displacement maps for sculpting. The most significant new feature in Blender 3.5 is the support for vector displacement maps, VDM, when sculpting. Vector displacement maps can be used as brush alphas, allowing for more complex overhanging forms, including noses, ears, horns, and tails, to be sculpted with a single dab of the brush. This feature was previously only available in specialist sculpting tools like Mudbox and ZBrush. With vector displacement maps, sculptors can create more intricate forms that are difficult to achieve with conventional displacement using height maps. The feature currently only works with area plane mapping, but mirror and radial symmetry are supported, which should allow for even more complex forms to be sculpted. Asset Library for Hairstyling Blender 3.5 comes with a new set of 26 ready-made geometry node setups, called the Essentials Asset Library, designed to streamline common tasks when working with hair. The asset library includes setups for generating hair curves on a scalp surface, duplicating or interpolating between guide curves to thicken the resulting hair, styling hair with clumps, frizz, curls, and braids, smoothing or straightening hair, and trimming it back. The curve-based hair toolset introduced in Blender 3.3 takes a major step forward in Blender 3.5 with the inclusion of this asset library, new nodes for procedural modeling and image processing. Blender 3.5 also includes several new geometry nodes for procedural modeling and image processing. Edges to face groups finds groups of faces surrounded by the edges selected, and blur attribute mixes the attribute values of neighboring elements. Additionally, there are new image input and image info nodes, which open up new creative workflows for processing images. Light tree for reducing render noise in cycles. Both of Blender's main render engines get updates in Blender 3.5, with Cycles now using a light tree to sample scenes with large numbers of lights more effectively. Enabling the light tree significantly reduces noise at the cost of a longer render time per sample, resulting in many renders converging to an acceptably noise-free state more quickly. This feature is currently disabled on AMD GPUs, but should work on Apple Silicon, Intel, and NVIDIA GPUs. Viewport Compositor Shading Option for EV Blender's real-time renderer, EV, gets a new viewport compositor shading option, which applies the result of the compositor editor node tree directly to the 3D viewport. This change lays the foundations for a true interactive real-time compositor inside Blender. At the moment, it doesn't support multi-pass compositing or advanced nodes, although it does support basic filter nodes like blur, lens distortion, and glare. Overall, these new features and updates to Blender 3.5 offer a range of exciting improvements for digital artists and animators. From more advanced sculpting tools to streamlined hairstyling and new nodes for procedural modeling and image processing, Blender 3.5 makes it easier than ever to create high-quality 3D content.